Hey everyone, this is Tim at Taylor's Boats. Uh, I am just here to show you guys a few things to uh, help the DNR as they're decontaminating your boat. Yeah, some of the things that they, they're wanting to look at, you know, obviously anything that's carrying water. So your engine carries water, your ballast tanks are carrying water, your sea strainer, that, that's gonna carry, you know, that's an option to carry mussels. So they wanna get rid of any of those places that the mussels can hide or sit. Um, and so they're gonna look at and decontaminate any of those, those things on your boat. They hook up a, a fake lake to the, the engine. They run a very high temperature water through everything. They're gonna do that through your ballast tanks as well. Um, your engine, uh, you know, they are going to take off the sea strainer, inspect it, put it back on. What they're going to do is when you pull up, you know, they'll have you take out some of the, you know, if you have tubes or life jackets or anything like that, they will take those out of your, your engine compartments and different storage compartments like that. They're going to take a, a fake lake and they're going to hook that up to the bottom of your boat where the, the water gets sucked up from the engine. They're going to turn it on. As soon as it turns on, you'll see a lot of water kind of spraying from underneath the boat. The second that they turn on the engine, all that water should get sucked up. You shouldn't see a ton of water coming outside of that fake lake. Um, there'll be a little bit, but you should see it significantly get, you know, starting to suck up in that engine. Uh, you give it 10, 20 seconds and you should be seeing a lot of water coming out your exhaust. Engine temperatures are, are huge, right? So with a, a fake lake, it's not getting necessarily the same pressure as being on the water. And so it's what we do here in, in our shop is we always want to make sure that you're running anywhere between, um, you know, 160 degrees, depending on the engine, you can get into the 170s. It's kind of about right where you want to be. Um, and the other thing is just on the back of the boat, the water will come out the exhaust and you just want to make sure there's a good amount of flow through there. You know, uh, the way that the, the water gets circulated into your engine is through a, a little rubber impeller uh, in your water pump. So a few things to look out for as they're uh, going through the decontamination process is uh, to make sure that that is hooked up proper. Um, the second that that doesn't get enough water flow through that impeller, it can start causing damages and other things there. So uh, making sure again your engine temps and making sure that your water flow out the exhaust is very crucial to make sure that after a decontamination, you're not going to get on the water and start overheating because of an impeller failure. So that's exactly it. Yeah, they're, they're sticking that fake lake underneath there. They, uh, we obviously hit the fill button on the, the ballast tanks and it's gonna suck up that water, it's gonna it swish it through the tanks, and then we're gonna hit the, the drain button and it's gonna take all that water out.